almost like you have, you have so many tokens. And if you run a race yesterday, you can't run a race today. And so if you waste this opportunity, use that token, then even if you gave up and now you're more motivated because you're like, I gave up yesterday. I can't give up again. I need to keep going. It doesn't matter because you are at, at a physiological level, you have less resources. And so you only have so many tokens. And so every opportunity on the track, you better take advantage of it. But it's really hard to because you're in so much pain. And so in the blocks, I'm always scared. Like, am I going to waste a token? Is this, is this not good? And I need to like write this down because I've like never told this story. Um, but like, it really is that. Like, am I going to waste a token? Um, and so in the blocks, I'm I'm always scared I'm going to give up on myself, no matter what. Even if I know I'm going to win the race because it's a local twilight meet and I'm the best in the field by five seconds. You know, like even then I'm scared. I'm not going to run a time that I'm going to be proud of. And in which case I've wasted a token because I can only race so many times. And now when I have my same pressure of <laughs> like, oh my God, I have to, I better not give up. I better push forward. I better not dial back. Like I better give this everything. I better run a fast time. It's like that plus <laughs> the pressure of an Olympic games or uh, Pan Am games. Like it can be a lot of emotion. And I wish I could tell you that I, you know, I'm so good at managing it. And I'm like, you know, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm really yeah. not. I think I found a way to harness it a little bit, but I think people perceive the idea that if you are able to perform, you're able to harness that and you use it in the best way. But I'm still freaking out when the starter says on your marks, I am exactly who I just described you to be. Oh my God, I better not give up. I better not waste a token. Like, oh my gosh, everyone's watching. It's the Olympic games. I better run fast. Like I'm thinking all those things. There's many yeah. moments I've thought like, I hate this sport. I'm never doing this again. After this race, I'm totally quitting. Like, I hate this thing. Like, this is so terrible. Why would anyone do this to themselves? You know, like I'm genuinely thinking those thoughts. But when I get into my blocks and the starter says set, I have a job to do. And what's mm -hmm. a very helpful tool is focusing on the job. It's mm -hmm. not emotional. It's not attached to outcome. It's like, I need to do X plus Y to get to Z. And I have a, a whole workshop I, I run with organizations and schools that I call your, your hurdle one technique. And it's really about the fact that it doesn't matter what happens at the end of the race in hurdle 10, unless I get over hurdle one. <laughs> Like, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to give up myself, give up on myself at hurdle one. Like I'm not, <laughs> like it's too early in the race. You're not even in much pain yet, but I might give up at hurdle eight, but until I get over hurdle one, it doesn't even matter. And mm -hmm. so it's like, how can I create a domino effect where I give myself checkpoints? And I'm really lucky as a hurdler to have a checkpoint at every, I have 10 hurdles. Every 35 yeah. meters, I get to refocus. What's my next cue? What's my next checkpoint? And it's perfectly like planned out amongst the whole like 400 meters and so am i freaking out and like ready to cry if someone's like you can cry now i'm like okay good thank you so much ah, like, it's like devastated but then it's like set and all i want to think about is what do i need to do at hurdle one and then that enables me to just like now i'm moving now i'm in momentum now it's happening and so there's no going back <laughs> and yeah. i just think about well what's my checkpoint at hurdle one i want to think fly Okay, great. Then I drive off. I move my arms. Okay, then hurdle two, I feel the wind at my back. I run off the hurdle. Like I'm thinking this at hurdle three. I'm thinking this at hurdle four. Okay, now I'm feeling this. Now I can feel the weight. I'm going to start feeling heavy now. Yep, feeling it. Okay, so that keep pushing, drive your arms. Like you give yourself cues to think about that have to do with the job to be done mm -hmm. versus the outcome I'm looking to achieve. Mm -hmm. And um, and that allowed me to run some of my most successful races when I am simply focusing and, you know, it's, it would be better known as like process goal versus outcome goal. Right. But it's like, it also can be looked at as like, what is the job you need to do at that immediate moment? Get that mm -hmm. done <laughs> because that's going to help enable you to, to get to that finish line for me, quite literally finish line of, of that outcome.